Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura and I'm happy to have you join me. And if you're new here, consider giving me the thumbs up as it really helps my channel, but also by subscribing, leaving a comment and make sure you turn on the notifications so you know when we have new content to share with you. All right, so let's get started as I show you how to draw and then watercolor paint this great little bee. So we're going to use for our little bumblebee watercolor is um, a piece of watercolor paper. This is a cold press 140 pound paper and it's just a scrap piece. And then we just have a pencil and eraser. And then we'll introduce our paint palette when we get to that point of our project. So I looked around on YouTube to see if I could find a video where the bees were painted um, from sketches and there really is very little out there and I really love these little critters. This year there are huge ones in my yard in my garden um, and I think we need to celebrate that as their numbers have been decimated in recent years with a virus and the fact that I'm seeing so many and they're huge they're they're these great big bumblers um, is really really a good thing so it got me thinking about that and as I said looking around to see what I could see and there just really isn't much out there so I took it upon myself to kind of figure out a super easy way to draw these guys so to start we're going to just use very basic shapes so using a lightweight pencil or light lines I just wanted to kind of draw an oval sideways oval or even an egg shape if if you like um, and then we're just going to do a circle for the head and we're gonna have this little bump sort of for his, his nose here and then a couple of small bumps for his eyeballs and then the body is in two pieces so we're doing the center part of the body here and then we're going to add another oval for the bum all right so that's the basic shape of our bumblebee now the wings just come out come out like this and just come around once again you can think of it I guess as a almost an egg shape once again or an oval and you might want to adjust that make them a little bit larger and same thing with the with the second set going to take our little sharpie we're going to draw around the shape that we've drawn and this is just going to kind of give us an outline 
for our painting. And I really like pen and ink, painting and ink. And as you can see, I'm drawing lines that sort of indicate hair. Because if you look at, at a bumblebee, they tend to be, well, hairy. They tend to have that look to them, right, where they're covered in all kinds of little hairs. So we're going to make that part of our painting. like the look of this little critter. So now we're going to introduce our paints. And this is my basic palette that I always have on my palette. This range of colors. And I have my spray bottle. Okay, so we're going to start with our lighter color, which is our, our yellow. We're going to just freshen up this part of our palette here with that. And we're going to go in and just start to drop, drop some color in here. Now with the wings, we're not adding much color because they're wings are generally clear see-through right so okay this a little bit of brown I'm going to add this here on this part of him it leads to a little bit of shading And then we'll continue with our yellow. And he's a little bit on his butt. Right, good for now. So then we want to work carefully with the black because of course it can run and turn into a terrible mess. So we're just going to start with his legs. Just by
So thank you so much for popping by and joining me to make this great little project. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Please subscribe, comment, and click the bell to get channel notifications. So for now, thanks again, and I hope you have a fantastic day.